All right, Shalom. We'll start by saying, Kohala, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Kakadash, the bond to the powers of Israel, aka the powers of Great Millstone, and peace and love to all the Akim, continue to preach the truth and all truth and sincerity. All right, real quick, I just want to do a video, a little response, well, not really a response, but just a, um, for edification as far as like, you know, a topic, you know, I know I know the apostles have heard it before, you know, things of the nature of helping the black community and this, that, and the third, and really, the true prophets of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, that's not that's not the time they're on. I'm mean, gonna keep it a hundred. We don't we we don't do nothing. We don't it's nothing, there's no such thing as a black community. What the fuck is that? Okay, we're Israelites. But really I'm I'm, I'm wanna um the reason I'm doing the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, I'm gonna do something responding to this comment that someone left. All right, this is a video I did a little ways back. It was these so called Jewish dudes in Nork, you know, trying to gather fundraising, I guess do Something for the Ukraine, right? You know, all the stuff that's going on with Ukraine and Russia. Anywho, so you had a lot of people. So I got, a, it's a lot of comments on here, but there was a couple comments that kind of stuck with me. I'm like, fucking these people. So someone, so this is yo, yo boy 01, whatever. So his comment was, instead of being a support system, we have we have a black Karen. And they accepted it and, def and defined their support for the black community as a whole. That's how it should be. I stand with those amazing Jewish people. Okay, whatever. So, I said, and and, and this is all. Through, I was just, you know, in the I was in the mood to entertain because it wasn't that crazy of a comment. So I'm like, all right, whatever. So I responded, I wouldn't stand too close while Russia is knocking. You see why they're there in the first place. I'm speaking on the Ukraine, and speaking of which, you say Black Karen. I asked, how was he harassing them like a Karen did? They look like they just they did. They look like they just. Got Karen. They seemed like they were not made uncomfortable, which they weren't. The dudes was conversing with them and whatnot. And then the, this guy, this other guy commented. This is the comment actually that influenced it. This was the comment. Another guy commented on the other guy's comment. He said, nah, y'all are both Karens. The Karen looked like he was doing just fine. What have y'all done to help the black peoples of Nork? And who was killing black men in Nork, other black men, right? So his basically, he's basically saying that our people are killing our own people, which is the case. But that's also part of the curses. See, a man of understanding knows that. So a man of understanding is not going to be like, damn, another brother killed another brother because we understand that this is the curses. Of course, it sucks. It's not cool. But we understand why it's happening. See, the thing that's happening in the country, see, what's happening in the country now is the everybody knows the when, everybody knows the where, everybody knows the what, and everybody knows everybody knows a little bit of the who, but nobody cares about why. Why are Nick? Why are black people killing other black people? Why? Why? Why do? Why are these things happening in the world? Why? Why? Why is things aligned the way they are? And it's all it's all from the Bible. It's all through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim El Shai. It's Yahweh that's controlling all of this. Yahweh Bashim El Shai is controlling everything, anything, and everything, anything of existence. The Lord is controlling, and it's all part of His show. So He said that. And my com and my comment was, and 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 I have scripture. You know, I'm gonna read the scripture to you know, you know edify what I'm saying back or what I'm saying. So this guy then responds. I know I respond to him. I say it's not my job. Hold up, it's not my job to help blacks because I don't subscribe to being black. We are Israelites, children of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I care only for the elect of Israel on the grand scheme of things. Now, as far as helping my people. Hey, I help who I can help when I can, but I need help too, shit. So when Yahweh Shai comes back, that's when our help arrives. I hope to see your reaction too. Have a good one, Patrick. Now, that was my comment I left to him. Nice and cordial, right? So now we're getting to the scripture. Let's see what King David said. Okay. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 35, verse 27, and it reads... Let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause. Yea, let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified. Let Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah be magnified, which have pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. Now, who was his servant going to be? An Israelite. Now, of course, David was talking about himself, but he's talking about himself when he said servant. That's why it was singular. So he's basically asking, you know, that for himself. But, you know, in the grand scheme of things, what the Lord said he was going to do. He said, well, he's going to build up the tabernacle of David and fill in the breaches thereof. So if da so if, if this is how David was carrying himself and conducting himself, this is a good example to follow. But ultimately, Yahweh Shai is the example, but David was a good example as well. Okay? So I'm going to read that again. This is Psalm chapter 35, verse 27. And it reads, let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause. 
Yea, let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified. So let Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah be magnified, which have pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. It says, verse 28, and my tongue shall speak of thy righteousness and of thy praise all the day long. So it's never enough praise when you praise in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. Because the Lord said, even when you praise him the most you can, you still fall very short. So this, 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 is, this is what it's about. Okay, so, you know, with that, you know, hopefully it's edifying. I just want to bring out that point. You know, we're not here for the black community. We're not trying to protest. We're not marching. Our protest is when we preach the word of the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. That's our protest. That's our march. That's our rally. All right? So, and when Yahweh Shah comes, he's going to plead the cause of those that stood so stiffly for his name and for his righteous cause. You know, with that, I'm going to say, you know, all praise to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, double on to the apostles of Israel, a.k.a. the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and love always to all of Akim, preaching this truth and true sincerity. Shalom.